Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am testing out a new drugstore mascara. And if you know me, you know I love testing out drugstore items. It's my favorite thing to do. I like finding a good find on a budget, if you know what I'm saying. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description bar if you're wondering. I had on a beautiful vinyl lip polish from uh, Revlon. I still have it on, but I had to put powder over top of it. I had to seal it with the uh, Cody Airspun powder because honestly, I have the hardest time. If your hair hits it and swipes it, it was all over my face. It went up my upper lip over here, it went down here on my chin. It was a mess. So I had to put some loose powder to kind of seal the deal so it would not move anymore. Um, but yeah, that's on my lip. Everything though will be listed down below if you're wondering. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's talk about this new mascara and let's apply it. Let's go. Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. It's supposed to wear up to 24 hours and it's supposed to give you big bold volume. I'm a girl that likes a little bit of volume, a little bit of length, so let's see how this performs on my lashes. It features a large brush and creamy formula that glides on smoothly onto lashes to deliver intense dramatic volume. I have the shade 980 Extreme Black. It's more comfortable to wear all day long. It gives an eye-opening effect. It lengthens and lifts and separates lashes, sounding like my kind of thing. It's supposed to be smudge proof and clump proof. Ophthalmologist tested, suitable for sensitive eyes, suitable for contact lens wearers like me. And basically that is that. So we're gonna get into the video, try it out, and I'm gonna let you know how I feel. It comes in extreme black, which is what I'm testing out today. Also extreme black waterproof, which I love a good waterproof mascara. Black and black brown. It's supposed to be around $13.99 and available on October the 15th, around that time frame. So if you're wondering what the CoverGirl Exhibitionist looks like compared to the Uncensored, let me show you. So obviously packaging is different. I prefer the black one actually. I think it looks a little bit more sleek, I, but I really don't care in the end what the package looks like. If it performs well, I'm all into it. So let's open up the two and compare. The Exhibitionist, the original ones on the bottom here, has more of an hourglass shape. It doesn't look as uh, as much product goes on the brush, but this one's a little bit older. The new Uncensored at the top has a little bit more of a fuller bristle brush. It looks a little bit more fluffier, and it looks to be like a little bit more product is on the brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Uncensored uh, to one eye, and then I'm going to apply the original to the other eye. That way it gives you, as a viewer, uh, maybe if you're on the fence about buying which one, maybe you can decide after watching my video. So that's what we're gonna do today. And um, for the third time, let's get into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna apply the original CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara to my right eye. Before this video, I did slightly curl my lashes. It's been a while though, the curl's pretty much worn down a bit. I have a little bit of a liner on. It's a burgundy color to match the lip, um, but we're going to apply a little bit of this CoverGirl Exhibitionist to this eye first, and we're gonna compare the two. Okay, so this is one coat of the original Exhibitionist. I don't wanna let it dry just because that's not really fair. If I went into this eye, I think that there's gonna to be too much drying time in between sets and then it could get a little bit clumpy. So we're just gonna go in and apply another coat of the original Exhibitionist. Honestly, I haven't used this mascara in a while, but I'm really liking it. It gives me good volume, it gives me good length. Um, it's not too clumpy, there is separation. So, so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the bottom lashes. So right here you have the original CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Okay, so now I'm applying the new CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara to my left eye. I actually, right off the bat, I kind of like this brush a little bit better. I do find it's giving me way more separation. And surprisingly, I thought at first there was a lot of product on the brush but actually it's going on really clean and nice and it's not too much product. So I would say right off the bat that the Exhibitionist was kind of a little bit more, um, it gives you a lot more volume right away. I would say it's a little bit more extreme right away. This one right here is giving me, it's pretty. It's a little bit softer. It's giving me more separation and a little bit of length, a little bit of volume, but this one so far is looking a little bit more extreme. I like both, but I'm gonna apply a second coat to see how I feel. I'm gonna go in and apply some to the bottom lashes as well. So here's a close look at both of the mascaras. So this one right here is the new uncensored formula. This one's the original Exhibitionist. To be quite honest with you, there's not a major massive difference. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so the verdict is in. How do I feel about them? I'll let you know. Honestly, I think that these are very, very similar, pretty much equal 
in a couple of ways. I think that my lashes both look full, um, just as full on each side. They, pr they pretty much look very equal. You can't tell that I have two different mascaras on. Um, this one though, the original formula, it goes on a little bit more thick and it goes on a tiny bit more clumpy and that is why I prefer this one because this one I noticed right away, it really did separate each one of my lashes and kind of made them look a little bit more fluffier. Uh, this one, if you're looking for like extreme lashes, right away I would go with the original one I think that this one gives you a little bit more of like a clumpy look and a little bit more of a bold look when this one gives you still the same kind of effect but it's a little bit more wispy a little bit more doe eyed so if I had to pick between the two I really did enjoy this one a little bit more than this one overall this is another great mascara by CoverGirl. I highly recommend. Highly recommend this product. I think it's great. I think if you want full lashes that are separated and it's very easy and effortless and not messy, you're going to want to check this mascara out because it's good. And I recommend it. Yes, I do. Okay, so this will be the end of my video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.